Hey, what's going on guys? Dylan here for Solo Cuts Landscaping and thank you for tuning in to another video here on the Solo Cuts Landscaping YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys that stop on by and share some time with me here on the channel. Now today's video, we are going to be talking about the Ryobi 18 volt tool system. They claim that this is the world's largest tool system they can get in a total package. So guys, we're going to dive right on into this and I'm going to talk about why I went with it and some key things for you to think about if you are looking to get a total package set. This is the video that you're going to want to watch. So guys, stick around, stay tuned, enjoy. Let's get right into it. So now we are ready to open this up. Um, I have the box tilted facing towards you so that way you can see how it comes out um, straight out of the package and then we will go through each individual item. So without further ado, let's get this open. It actually looks like everything comes in. We're gonna have to do it this way anyways. So there you can see everything already comes in the carrying case itself and what's nice is all these tools that you're getting fit right inside this one bag which is nice to keep everything together so you're not sifting around searching around for what you're going to need. Alright so now let's see what's inside. Alright, first things first is you're going to find your operator's manual of the tools. If you do not know how to safely operate one of these tools, be sure to read your owner's manual so that way you know exactly what you're going to be doing, so that way you don't walk around looking like that. Just kidding, I still got my fingers. But, so that way you don't walk around without a finger, make sure uh, you read your owner's manual. Inside that, they did provide us with a 5.5 inch, 18 teeth carbide tipped blade. Um, this is going to be for our circular saw and they also included one blade for the reciprocating saw. Now hopefully this doesn't all dump out but as you can see right here everything is packaged um, in its own individual bag um, and is also separated by some cardboard to help ensure that everything stays tight which I like. There's nothing worse than getting a box of product um, and everything is just all over the place it doesn't really give you a good feeling uh, makes you wonder if something got damaged in the meantime so everything is here is individually packaged which I like and it is secure so that way it is not to go anywhere first thing we're going to grab is the charger so if you have 18 volt batteries laying around which we do they will fit right on in there next up here is going to be our half inch two speed drill driver up to 500 pounds of torque in this drill there. So there's your two speed adjustment right up on top. There is your torque, pretty nice, comfortable hand. Um, I like the way that feels. Next up is going to be the Ryobi Impact Driver, which is 1800 pounds of torque. So take for instance us, we're taking blades on and off quite regularly so this is going to be something that does great for zapping those blades off super comfortable in the hand um, pretty well balanced I would say um, does come with a screwdriver bit on there there you can see there's a clip right up there um, so that way you can sit your driver um, and then there's also a magnetic spot right there um, so doesn't fall on you there. So that is pretty nice, pretty convenient to have. Super excited about this. So here is actually what is cool, and you know, you guys know how convenient these can come. Um, this is an LED light, old battery, but I'll interchange this light out. LED light, pretty nice. Um, like I said, these are some of those things that uh, are just super convenient. You know, we get in a tight spot, whatever you're working on, you can just slap this on there. There is a hook right there, so if you wanna maybe tie this to something, or um, if you're hanging it up on the wall for storage, um, that is something there too. So, nice LED, 160 lumens, um, you know, nice to have. Here is the reciprocating saw. Um, this does have a one inch stroke length. Slap that battery on right there. There is your safety right up top 
there, right by the thumb, so that's pretty convenient just to be able to hit. Here is your blade release, so that way you can swap your blades in and out. I'm super excited to be putting this to use. We got some projects here at the shop, also at the house, that this is going to be something nice to have. And the last main tool of the kit is going to be our circular saw. This is a 1 and 9 16 inch depth of cut, so um, it's not something that's going to be massive, um, but I think this is going to be something super nice. There's your adjustment pin right here. What I do like about this is there is your Allen key so for when you go to change your blades in and out. So it is nice that there is a slot for that because again, what we all run into is you will lose that Allen key, whatever. It is nice to have a spot for everything so that way you're not having to search and search for what you need. There's a spot dedicated for that. I do like that very much. So let's slap a battery in here. Battery does go here and on the side. Again, you would use the blade provided. I'm sure you can go with different cutting blades if you prefer uh, different materials for you know whatever you're cutting so um, just be sure to make sure uh, it matches correctly with your saw again safety up here again safety up here by the thumb so uh, pretty quiet not too loud um, of course you know when it comes to not really going to be that loud if you're not cutting anything. Um, also, here's an adjustment pin for your angle. If you're wanting to cut those corners, there's an adjustment pin for that. Uh, just simply tighten right there and you will be good to go. Last but not least, this one is probably one of the most versatile. Clearly, one of the most versatile because it is their multi tool. I've never had one of these. I've seen them on the market and I've always thought, man, that would be something awesome to have um, because you can do so much with these from what I see. So, as you can see right here on the bottom, there is your speed adjustment. So, you want to crank that all the way up to six. What is nice is there is a lock button here. So instead of having to hold this button down the whole time, um, if you have something that you're gonna be doing for a little bit, there's a locking button. So if you press the trigger and then push that button in, it stays on. Then click to release. What I'm guessing this is right here. Um, it is for this multi-tool, so it comes with your Allen key right there. Um, comes with an attachment to where I don't know exactly what it's called. I'm not a tool guru. Uh, I'm just wanting to bring this video to you guys just to show you what is in this kit and um, how it is packaged and what my thoughts and opinions are on how it all goes. But um, to where say you are cutting a piece of trim or whatnot, that is what the little bit right there is going to be for. Comes with a couple sanding pads. And last but not least is the most important piece of this all because typically when it comes to power tools and what you're getting, the money is in the battery. Um, so a lot of times it just seems like it's cheaper to buy a brand new tool, brand new tool set, uh, whatever it is, because for not much more you can get some new batteries. Because like I said, that is where the money's at. So they do provide you with a 18 volt, 1.5 amp hour uh, lithium ion battery. Fits right in there nice and snug. Super clean, it doesn't take a lot of effort to get it in there. And the next one is going to be the big dog, the four amp hour battery. Again, super smooth, super balanced, not super heavy. Um, I really like the way it feels in the hand because as you see, we have some of the old school Ryobi's, which is a reason why I did go ahead and go with Ryobi because we have one, two, three. We have four batteries already that are Ryobi. So it would have been stupid of me to go with, uh, you know, Milwaukee, DeWalt, whatever. Because, like I said, the money is in the batteries. So if we have four great batteries, I have an additional charger. Now we have this brand new charger. Um, we just have a really good setup for what we're going to be doing. And Ryobi has a great product line, great reputation for being durable products. I've had great luck with them. These have been around for a long time. They were Those Ryobi ones, the ones I'm using now, were actually my father-in-law's who did contracting. Um, you know, did a lot of 
home renovations and everything like that. So those have been ran really, really hard, like every day, all day, and they are still holding up great. So I felt comfortable with going ahead and getting a new set of Ryobi. Now I did get this whole complete set at Home Depot. They're running a Black Friday special. Well, they were just running a Christmas special. I don't necessarily know if it's a Black Friday, um, but it could just be till this stock is cleared out. It was $100 off. So originally $299 and I got it for $199, which I thought was a great deal for how much you're getting. Um, a 4 amp hour battery, a, a 1.5 amp hour battery, uh, the charger, everything you see here is included, plus the nice carry bag. How awesome is that? To have a bag where everything can go. I know you guys are probably just like me, to where you'll use something, you'll sit it on the shelf, you think it's gonna be there when you go back, and it is not. So this way, you make it across the board, tell your wife, tell your employees, whatever, hey, when you're done using something, it goes in the bag. That's why we have the bag there. Thank you guys very much for tuning into this video. If you did enjoy this video, do me a favor, give it a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. What type of tool sets do you use? Do you buy them individually? Um, is this, do you try to buy them on a kit when they come up for a deal? Let me know down in the comments below what type of tool sets you are using and why you like that brand. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to smash the subscribe button and hit that bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop a video. Now guys, as always remember do what you love love what you do but never no never stop guys we will see you in the next one Bye.